Hello and welcome. This is Logan. We are here going over the state of Unreal. GDC 2023 is happening right now. Unreal editor for Fortnite brings the power of Unreal Engine to the scale of the Fortnite audience. Get it now. Click on here. It's in the library. I have it ready to go. Click on it in your library. You're going to need both Fortnite and Unreal Editor for Fortnite in order to launch this. I will warn you, it is a large download. The servers are very busy right now, so it might take some time. Go grab it, download, go have lunch, go have a coffee, and come back here. All right, you got it. We're ready to go. Click on Unreal Editor for Fortnite. When we launch Unreal Editor for Fortnite, UEFN, this is what we're presented with. So we have our first hour with UEFN, the Verse documentation, UEFN documentation, and our developer community. Go ahead and click on some of those. If you're not familiar with Fortnite Creative, then probably want to start with your first hour in UEFN. We're going to hit Done. I went in and made a test UEFN project, but let's start from island templates here. River's Edge Island. I like the look of the River's Edge. Let's jump in. River's Edge demo. And hit create. And we're in. Once you have picked your map, or maybe you're going on a blank template and hit created, you're going to have some shaders compiling and some loading bars. When that's done, then the first thing you're going to want to do up to the top right hand corner, change your camera speed to eight. By default, it will be at four. And when we start moving, you're going to be going very slowly. So let's zoom in by going up to camera speed eight and then flying down in here. And you can see the rest of our meshes popping in the LODs level of details filling in. And I'm going to change that back down to a reasonable speed of four. We can move around here. If you want to learn how to use Unreal Engine with Fortnite, then stick around because I'm going to be doing just that and helping you get up to speed, learning Unreal Engine, learning Fortnite Creative, learning how to combine both Unreal and Fortnite to make the most out of this new and exciting ecosystem that has come with the release of Unreal Engine 5.2. At the very top of the menu bar, we can hit Launch Session or the hotkey Alt-P. We'll save our session and it will begin to load Fortnite and Fortnite Creative. You'll see at the top, the session loading is spinning and it will take a moment to get everything up and running. I'll meet you back when everything is loaded. Here you have loading into your edit session. So that is what we're going to be starting point is we are jumping off from the edit session. Now, as the map loads into memory, you'll also see that our current memory usage at 16,865 out of 100,000. That is all we have to work with. And it's tons, right? Look at the detail on the map. We had a lot of stuff going on here. And now we are, are using the Fortnite Creative. We're inside of edit mode. And you can see in the upper left-hand corner that we have edit mode up to date. Double tap spacebar to fly, left shift to go up, left control to go down. That way we're just using our left hand as we move around. N is phase on, it's phase off. That's just a toggle. We have our flight speed here. We're going one axis. That's basically the equivalent to our camera speed that we had inside of Unreal Engine. Now, this is a, a very fast way, so maybe we want to go down. Unfortunately, we have to keep hitting C. We can't have a button to go down in speed. We have to cycle all the way through. I'd like to just use E and Q, and those are the hotkeys inside of Unreal Engine for moving up and down. Q here is actually going to cycle through some of our building tool options. So if you want to go in and start doing some building, for example, I want to go down here. I'm going to hit space bar twice to exit fly mode. Now we have our inventory on the lower right. 
Hit tab. We can see what our resources are. I'm on the wood. And then if I cycle through Z, X, C, V, you can see we can place these down here. It's not flat enough. Q switches our tool. And we're building a wall. Okay, so this is just an example. And you can see when we add things in that our memory is changing up above. All right, now this is not about using the build mode inside of Fortnite. I just wanted to show you that yes, we can build stuff inside of here. And now when I hit escape, we can start the game. So now we can begin to play test the level that we made. All of these assets that you see placed in here, we can actually modify using Unreal Engine. And I'm gonna go back in there and show you that right now. And you can see, I still have the game running. It has game in progress here. I'm going to end game, ends the game, but keep the session open. So I had made that little hut. I made that little hut thing. I don't like that. I don't like it. I wanna make something else. I wanna make something from Unreal Engine. That's why we're back in the engine. And this is where we begin to learn how to use the Unreal Engine Editor to make assets for Fortnite. And that is where I'm gonna kick off my channel this year is focusing on doing just that. If that sounds like something that you wanna be a part of, then please like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for more Unreal Engine, Unreal Engine Fortnite, and Fortnite creative videos coming soon. Thank you, bye now.